Senior Chief Joe Biden needs to wake up and do something about a broken border. The president put forth a comprehensive plan on day one, almost three years ago, almost three years ago, almost. And what they do instead is put forth extreme, extreme, extreme bills. The surge of migrants crossing Arizona's southern border has politicians sounding the alarm, but demanding different things. Thanks for joining us for 13 News Live at 6. I'm Brooke Wagner. Dan is off tonight. A southern Arizona sheriff finds himself caught in the middle of the battle over border policy. Sheriff Mark Daniel's office is handling more border issues as Customs and Border Protection focuses on processing migrants. 13 News reporter J.D. Wallace is live in Sierra Vista where the sheriff says the federal government has been slow to respond. J.D. Brooke Daniel says the president has not responded and the fact that these checkpoints are not operating shows how current policy focusing on processing instead of enforcement is the root of the problem. It's called fight and flight. They're running from us every which way they go, which has created a huge vulnerable risk for the citizens in this county. Sheriff Mark Daniels faces the constant pursuit of human smugglers who flee across Cochise County at high speeds and the challenge of a jail over capacity, almost half of it from border offenses, and says President Biden has been unresponsive to his requests. The rule of law states if you come across the border illegally, you're automatically expelled. That rule of law has been set aside. President Biden, you don't need to negotiate with any of us. You have the ability as president to stop this problem now if you choose to use the law that is available to you. Senate Republicans showed a picture of migrants in Lukeville as they urged the president to change policy after they blocked a funding bill that included border and immigration resources. But independent Arizona Senator Kirsten Sinema says it's an all or nothing approach by Republicans that could leave the border with nothing. This is a growing risk. And this is why Congress must step up to actually gain control of the border, change the laws so that we can determine who comes in and who doesn't, and have operational control over the border. Adding more money right now is not going to solve this problem until you actually stop those coming. Until either policy changes, more resources are approved, or some combination, Sheriff Mark Daniel says he'll keep doing all he can, which he admits is not enough. The incentivization to come in our country is there. We need to stop the green light, turn it off, and fix it. And right now, it's easy to do if we just enforce the rule of law. Sheriff Daniels questions the logic of closing the Lukeville port of entry to legal border crossing to focus on migrant, excuse me, legal border crossing to focus on migrant processing. Republican Congressman Juan Siscomani and Democrat Greg Stanton have called on the Department of Homeland Security to provide a timeline for reopening the Lukeville port of entry. Live north of Sierra Vista, J.D. Wallace, 13 News.